In this video, I am just going to talk about basic walls, drawing the just straight walls. I'll do another video for the curved walls and the uh, pony walls and the half walls. So we have curved walls. That's over here. And then we have straight walls. I'm going to grab the, I'm going to push on the straight exterior wall. Now I'm going to narrate what I'm doing with my mouse. So I'm not pushing the right or the left mouse button right now, but right now I am going to push the left mouse button down and start drawing. So I can draw this. Now it doesn't have to be a, I don't have to worry. Let's just say I want my building to be 30 foot by 20 foot. That's not a problem. So I have let off on the mouse. I do not have my um, right or my left mouse um, clicked. Now I'm going to click on my left mouse and come down, let up, push it again, and just kind of get close to here. And I can see here where the grid is, like right here. I'm close enough. And I let off on the mouse and then up. So I, I'm, I'm just, I don't have the right or the left one clicked yet. Now I'm going to push on my scroll wheel. I'm just going to push down on the scroll wheel and that'll allow me to move. Now I can, I'm rotating the scroll wheel to where it'll go out and I can rotate it in the opposite direction to where it will go in. So I know there's a lot of stuff people leave out when they're given these tutorials about these mouses. I'm going to try and throw it in there. And again, if you have any questions or something that I'm missing, um, feel free to put a comment in the comment area and I will answer it as soon as possible. Now, if you notice this, it already drew some lines in here. Well, this is actually our roof. It's a hip roof on this particular building here. And if I want to see what it looks like, I can come up to here and click on the perspective view. And that will bring me to a view of the building with its foundation. We have a raised foundation. I can turn it over and rotate around. We don't have any windows and doors. If we would have put if we put a window or a door in here, um, we would have it. And I'm just going to go ahead and grab one, even though this is on walls. Just going to go ahead and grab the door. I'm going to push down on my um, on the left mouse button. So now I don't have any of the mouse buttons. I'm not pushing any of them, but I am going to push the left mouse click button. And there's our door. So we have a door. If I want to go check it out on the outside, there's our door. So the exterior walls are not difficult to do. Go back. And like I said, let's just say that I wanted this to be 30 feet. If that's the case, now I'm still in the door mode. I got to get out of the door mode. I'm going to have to come and click on this pointer here. So now I'm out of the door mode. So if I if I want to make this 30 feet, I'm simply going to click on this wall and click this. And you can see this wall still highlighted. And then I'm going to type in 30 feet. So that's going to be 30 with the apostrophe representing feet, the quote, um, um, keys on your com computer keyboard will represent inches. 30 feet, and I'm just going to click off of it. I now have a 30 foot. If I want this to be 20 foot, I can actually, I'm going to need to click this. Click that. So I got the two, 20 foot, enter. And there's my 30 foot by 20 foot building. And if I want to move any walls, outside walls, I can grab them and move them. So if I want to take this to 36 feet, 10 inches, I can do it like this. It's just it's not going to be easy all the time. Sometimes it's going to be easier just to take and put the, put the measurement in that you need for your walls. Now, if I want to draw, you know, this is just a square building. We got the roof. If I want to turn the roof off here, I'm just going to go up here and push delete roof. The roof is gone. If I go into my overview, there is no roof, just a flat section there. I want to get rid of this reference grid. I go up to view, reference grid, that's gone also. And this can't. This is the camera that we're looking at. So we can see the door. This is the angle of the perspective view that we're at. If I want to get rid of this, it'll get rid of the perspective view. So now we have this. If I want to add some walls, um, I can go back to the straight walls and I can add a wall in here and I can basically go around and just form whatever. And again, I'm just right clicking, follow the same procedures for the mouse 
Um, go back in here. If I want to move this, I can move it. If I want to make this a certain size, I'm just going to click on it here. 17 feet, enter. It'll move it over. Move this, move this out. Uh, I want this to line up with this. Okay, and there is a lineup tool here. This You're going to have to watch this. If this doesn't line this up perfectly, if it doesn't line it up perfectly, your roof is going to be um, a little weird. So let's say that it's like this. Then my roof is going to be messed up. It's going to be... So if you have any small problems with your roof, um, it's probably going to be because these walls don't line up perfectly. Now I can delete this wall here. Uh, go to my Edit, Delete. And I can always extend this wall to this one here, and then I don't have to worry about any breaks in there. Now, if I do want to break a wall, let's just say I want to get rid of this wall here, and it goes all the way across. I can come up to here and put a break in it here, and that separates it into two different walls. I have a wall there and a wall here, so I can actually delete this. I'm going to push the delete button on my keyboard, and the wall is gone. So again, adding walls, no problem. Come to the outside, add a wall. You know, you want to go around, do some corners, come back. Um, I didn't want to, didn't mean to do that at the angle there. Control Z on the keyboard reverses it. And there's my wacky outside of the building there. Um, and if I want to rebuild the roof, I just come in here because I want to see what it looks like with the roof on. I'm just simply going to come in and build the roof here. You got to click check these off. Okay, and now I have a new roof on here. I can check my perspective again, and there it is. There's my building with a roof on it. And it is about as simple as that. If you are, I mean, this is an excellent place to get started drawing your walls. I mean, you can see here where it didn't take long to get precise measurements that I wanted. If I wanted to get uh, put the door in, that's going to be in a precise measurement. Again, I'll go over a little more of that in the door section on the video. But you just click on the door, put the length in. I want it to be 12 feet away um, from the wall. And then I just push down on my left mouse button and pop. Boom. It brings it to 12 feet. So that is a real convenient thing of this. I want to change this measurement. Click on this wall. Click on that. Enter the measurement. If I want to change this measurement here, I need to click on the wall that I'm clicking on. If I click on this wall, it's going to move this one. If I click on this one, it's going to move this one. Click on this. Enter this. It'll move this one in either direction. I'm going to type in 12 feet, enter, and you can see where it moved it to 12 feet. So hopefully this makes sense. Um, and of course, this is the first video. Get you started with a basic, your basic exterior walls. The next video will be on interior walls.